Well boys, <clears throat> how'd you thinking about a video we could uh, we could do today, or I could do? And uh, <clears throat> I've got some a couple computer monitors there that I've had for years and years and years, it's just sitting on the shelf. LCD monitors, and I figured, you know, what the hell? Uh, let's scrap a couple LCD monitors, see what parts are in them worth salvaging. And uh, I went ahead and done one, but we'll do a couple together. And, uh, well, <clears throat> this is the VGA interface board. Uh, you see there's a crystal here right in the center. <clears throat> it's a 14.3 megahertz crystal. Puts it right into the 20 meter amateur band. So, the crystal's worth saving. There's a couple, there's five electrolytic capacitors here. They're worth salvaging. Uh, but the rest of this stuff is just junk so you get about six parts off of that board and then this is the power supply board from the LCD monitor um, so there are a couple of uh, useful parts in this one you've got the fuse right here as well as the uh, fuse clips so if you get them out of the board or damage them you can certainly use those um, <coughs> Got a nice 68 uh, microfarad 450 volt electrolytic capacitor right here. Definitely worth salvaging. Bridge rectifier. Um, a couple electrolytics right here. If they're not if they're not bulged or damaged, you can certainly reuse them. Uh, a couple of high current diodes here. A couple of nice resistors. One there, one there. Um, got an isocoupler right here. So. Oh yes, and of course the pin player the AC plug. If you can remove that, it's my soldered the board. You can you can save those as well. Uh, so yeah, there's a there's a bit of stuff on this, a few parts on this board that uh, you can certainly reutilize. So uh, I'm gonna scrap those, take those parts off later. But uh, for right now, we're going to scrap two LCD monitors. See what's in them that uh, we can keep or salvage for projects. Okay, so we have an LCD monitor here. This one is an Acer model X183H, version X183HB. Manufacturing date January 2009. So it's uh, it's been around. First thing, try to remove the legs. Maybe. There we go. Use that for a stand. Could make a stand for a whole handheld radio or something. And then we get this base plate off. Get a piece of plastic, garbage. I'm gonna have to move you out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Screws are always worth salvaging. Especially if countersunk ones, flat, flat, uh, flat heads. Piece. This piece clips onto that. At least holder for a mobile radio or something. Just the legs and everything. So we'll uh, hold on to that for now. Now, let's see, what will it take? 
there's no screws on the cover. So we we'll have to force our way into this one. Force our way into this one like the last one. Fronts are usually clipped together. Little clips on them. Hold the camera a little bit more. See if I can get into this. There we go. right now let's just undo my best for you okay, I'm just trying to get so this part is removed we've got this board here got some nice micro switches Always keep those. Micro switches are worth holding on to. Lots of equipment nowadays being made is using these. So they're worth salvaging. Now, can I get the rest of this out? I wish you could slide out. Yes, she will. There we go. That's the back car. So, what do we got going on in here now? Lots of tape. Power supplies. Move you again here. Power supplies underneath this. We have to find out how to get into it. And there's screws on the sides here. So, I'm going to remove those. And there's flathead screws again. Here, once those four screws are out, you can just lift up. Uh, screw a few unplug connectors there. Little CD, and it's pretty much the exact same thing as your board. back of the LCD monitor and I'm not keeping that that's junk. Alright. So we have screws on the main board. Take those out. screws and stuff so on this side so why would this one be any different <laughs> oh she slides right out okay mm -hmm. cut 
this. Okay, so what do we got on this board? So we have another AC plug we can reuse. We got another electrolytic right here. Not sure what he is. Probably another 450 volt one lord out. A couple capacitors over here. A couple of nice inductors. Diode. So what's the difference between this board and the one I removed previously? Two different manufacturers, two different boards. Here's the differences where stuff is laid out, but this one uses a few extra more resistors than what this one has. This one has more filtering than what this one has. Interesting. Alright. Let's have a look at this board. And get that one out the last time. I need to uh, let these little nuts go. Interface board. Let's see, what are the differences between these interface boards? This is the first one, this is the second one. A little bit of differences in them. This one is 14.3 megahertz. What's this one? This one should be the same. 14.31818. So we so we salvage that crystal as well. As long with these uh, five electrolytics. The rest of the board can be pretty much tossed. Got an IC right there, 17-33, 0844. Uh, BL, whatever the hell that is. I mean, you could save that if you really wanted to, but you know, why would you want to save that? I suppose if you had one that was all smashed up and need to replace it, I suppose you'd save it. But technically, I just replay, I just rip off the crystal and the five electrolytes and the board itself could be just tossed. So. have a look at another monitor. Okay, so now we have another monitor. This one DC power in. So it's probably a power supply sitting right behind here. A DVI plug as well as VGA. Um, LG I'm going to say it's a 3020M370 Manufactured July 2015. This one's fairly feeling fairly, fairly new, but uh, anyway, let's see what it's going to take to get into this one. 
First, we're gonna get the leg here off. And just screw it right. So, we'll soon get unscrewed. Base plate. And we've got the arm here now I'm trying to remove. Try to get this piece of plastic here off. Not easy. I'm going to have to get this off in order to get into this thing. That even comes off. Holy crap. There she goes. I'm coming off with a fleet. That's not sure. Holy mackerel. Oh, screws on her knee. Just screw down by the actual back cover. Oh well. Why stop now? <laughs> Okay, let's just try not clip the thing. Sure, is a proper plastic prying tool for this, but you know. What fun would that be? There's the board. Let do it. Here's the screws that I was trying to pry off.
screw ain't moving. Remember, I'm not repairing anything here. This is surely for parts only. So I don't really care too much about just getting beat up. But my god, they certainly got the uh, board well sandwiched in there. that we can salvage. What's this crystal here? 14, this one right here. 14.31818 again. Let's see if we can salvage that. A couple of inductors, one there and one there. We probably get those off. The power plug, we might be able to get that off, maybe. But that's the whole guts of that whole monitor right there, that board. Crazy. How much they can cram into one, into one little board. Ooh, nice little switches, these ones. These nice little switches. And off, uh, that's it. Got an LED right here. Nice little switches, boys. So they're worth salvaging. Two pin switches. They're actually, uh, they're actually good to save. Micro switches. Cool. Anyway, so out of all this, what, what, 
what did we manage to save? Three monitors. So, got a little bit of scrap in the enemy. These are some parts. But that is it. Anyway. <laughs> Parts are parts. Parts mean life. So, there you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll chat on the next one. 7 3. Well, what the hell? Show you how I remove parts from a board with a torch. And uh, needle those pliers. <laughs> Diode. Yes, Faster. Dude. I'm going to need to keep uh, water handy, <laughs> obviously. Uh, yeah.
thermistor. in here. It smells. Anyway, Maureen does video bombing us. Okay. This is Maureen for your video bombing us. We will continue. That's as much as I'm taking off that board. So this is some stuff that I've left. I'm not going to bother take everything off. It's up to yourself what you want to remove from the board. But uh, there's plenty for me. on this board. Mostly what's on this side over here. I'm gonna remove most of what's here, including this fastener, electrolytic, if it'll break clear of that glue or whatever it's uh, in there. Pot it with. There we go. It is a 450 volt same zero one. So we'll put this one in the voice. This is what I call harvesting. Harvesting parts. I'm 
Let's see here, kind of snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> There we go. Another transformer. Bridge rectifier. I have a little come out. Sometimes this stuff just don't want to let go. Bridge rectifier. right there. Another power resistor right there. We'll save the doctor. <laughs> Electrolytic. Another inductor here. Power is hard or a high current diode right there. It'll come out. Okay, that's it. There's a doctor right there. I nice to get him, but I think he's actually glued on there. Glued on, I do believe. Off. 
so far. Here's what I've got. All these here parts. So I'll put all these in parts in with the rest of me parts that I still got to sort. sort that out. Alright. I guess what we'll do now is see if we can get these switches out. These ones here I'm not going to bother with. The surface mounted ones. A couple of LEDs right there. My hair probably destroyed them taking them out. So. I'm going to wire with those later. But these switches, all I should have to do is just warm up the board, and these should just fall right off. I would think. Let's, uh, let's put this through to the test, shall we? <laughs> that one ain't gonna make it. That one didn't make it. No, nope, forget it. These switches are gonna be destroyed. Take them off. So I'm not gonna bother with them. Alright. Well, we have more luck with these ones then. We have more luck with these ones. Salvage D switches. Can't get a grip on the damn things. Can't get a grip on them there. Nope. They're not gonna make it either. So forget that. Alright. <laughs> Alright then. I'm gonna get the crystals off of these boards. It shouldn't be too difficult. I didn't think, but who knows? two legs obviously so I grab the body of it 
pull up the board and it should pop out of there. Just like that. Perfect. One crystal. Crystal I'm not going to bother with because I got lots of them. see here is it in the this is that of an old phone thing color ID display unit and it has an LM358 yeah LM358 right there so we're going to try and get that off the board save that I've done a little bit of reading on it and it's a very useful little uh, YC. If I can get it off the board without destroying it. There she is. Hot, hot. LM358. Right a bit. Alright, that's it. Anyway, and this board. Yes, crystal there I want to save. So we'll uh, save that one too. you enjoyed the video I'm scribing some monitor and doing some harvesting anyway guys thanks for watching we'll chat later